Today we're going to be making some gluten and dairy-free dinner rolls, but with a twist. So come along with me. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Deborah. that's me, where I share simple things in my island life on the east coast of Canada. The twist on today's gluten-free, dairy-free dinner rolls is that we're going to be making them using Bob's Red Mill pizza crust mix. We're going to take one mix. We're going to take out the packet of yeast. And in our mixing bowl, we're going to add one and a half cups of warm water. I'm going to be adding two tablespoons of maple syrup that will help our yeast bloom. We're then going to add in the packet of yeast, let it bloom and stand for a few minutes until it bubbles and ferments. Then we're going to be following the instructions on the packet by adding two tablespoons of olive oil and two eggs and combine well. Next up, we're going to be adding the flour from the mix. So if you happen to be looking to purchase anything that happens to be in this video, especially the Bob's Red Mill Pizza Mix, I will link my Amazon storefront in the description box down below, as well as a link to Bob's Red Mill Pizza Mix so that you can make these dinner rolls too. If you happen to like the recipes that I share on this channel, as well as the things that we try out, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, as it really helps bring more people into our community that are like-minded and enjoy these things too. So I'm now gonna take the dry ingredients and add them to the wet ingredients. I'm going to combine well, and then I'm going to be taking Bob's Red Mill one-to-one -one gluten free flour and flouring the surface of the countertop. Once this is combined well, I'm going to roll out the dough into a nice log and I'm gonna cut it evenly into 10 pieces that are going to be our dinner rolls. Now, I thought in doing this hack that this would be a great way since Bob has already perfected the flour blend, added the yeast packet, I thought maybe we could turn this into some fabulous bread products and that we would cut out the middleman and that it would be an easy way to make either some dinner rolls or hamburger buns sandwich rolls, maybe even a loaf of bread. So I thought this would be a fun hack to try out. So now we're taking the dough onto the floured surface. I'm going to roll it out. You're going to line the Pyrex glass dish with some parchment paper, and we're going to place the rolls evenly onto the parchment paper. I'm also going to take a raw egg and blend it up and give the dinner rolls an egg wash. We're going to be cover them and placing them in a warmed oven for approximately two hours to let them rise. I think many of us that eat a gluten and dairy free diet or especially a gluten free diet, there is a real struggle to have acceptable, good tasting, light, fluffy, wonderful bread products. So I thought that this would be a real maybe easy way to help a lot of people that may not be really savvy in the kitchen or really great at making bread flour blends 
or not having a bread machine or just really struggling to have really great gluten-free bread products. So I thought, well, you know, let's try it. We've got nothing to lose. So as you can see here, I'm rolling them into nice little balls, placing them into our Pyrex pie dish, and we're going to be placing them in the oven to rise. This was really a labor of love for me. I thought that if we could get a pre-existing, pre-packaged product like a Brob's Bread Mill Pizza Crust and be able to turn it into bread products, how much it would, number one, sleep, simplify the baking process for making some wonderful gluten-free dinner rolls or bread products. It would also, number two, make it incredibly affordable as a Bob's Red Mill Pizza Mix, where I'm located, is approximately $5 Canadian. So if we can turn in this pizza mix into not only pizza crust, but dinner rolls, hamburger buns, sandwich bread, wouldn't that be fabulous? And it would streamline the baking process. And it wouldn't be as intimidating for a lot of us to be able to do some gluten-free baking ourselves and have it fresh at home. So I take my own knowledge of bread making and gluten-free baking and decide to let these rolls rise in a warm oven for approximately two hours. From the recipes that I have, the rising of dinner rolls can any be anywhere from two to three hours. And I chose on like somewhere in between that. So after letting them rise, giving them an egg wash, we're going to bake them in the oven at 375 for 25 minutes. On the Bob's Bread Mill pizza mix, you parboil it for seven minutes and then you bake the pizza in the oven for 18 minutes. So I combined those times and that's where I came to baking these dinner rolls for 25 minutes at 375. So here they are and they turned out fabulous. Airy, spongy, I gave them a little bit of a vegan butter wash to give them a lot more flavor. And here, I'm going to test them out for you. Okay, now the taste test. Mm. Mm. Oh my goodness. These are so yummy. Let me show you another one. So these have been... Look. If you happen to seen my no fail bread recipe which I will be sure to link so that you can go back and watch that this is very much turned out like that bread so if you happen to be looking for a bread option or how to make a bread option and you don't have a lot of bread skills or a bread machine and you don't want to be paying ten dollars a loaf for a loaf of gluten-free bread I think that this Bob's Red Mill pizza crust to dinner rolls test has been a huge success and I'm super, super excited. It's a pre-packaged, almost like bread, bread mix. It's the first one that I've got able to work that hasn't been baking my own bread. I think if you didn't want to only make dinner rolls, you could probably make eight hamburger buns 
or you could also use them as sandwich rolls or like submarine or round sandwich you know what I mean sandwich bread so I'm super super excited because these Bob's Red Mill pizza mixes are about five dollars Canadian at our local Walmart so and I know it's like $9.99 at my local Sobeys to buy one loaf of promised sandwich bread so if you're looking for an alternative to make a really great bread product whether it be dinner rolls hamburger buns or possibly even bread now I'm gonna do some more tests with Bob Bread Mills Pizza Mix and write in the description box down below buns or bread either word to let me know which one you would like me to test out first do you want me to test out the pizza mix and making it into a loaf of bread or making it into some hamburger buns so I'm really excited to see what you guys have to say and yeah I'm super excited about you know testing out this product and it working so well and I'll be sure to link some other videos especially my no fail bread recipe for you to watch at the end of this and you can binge watch some videos until my next upload I want to thank everyone for tuning in and all 2400 of you that have hit that subscribe button and help grow my channel and believe it or not I'm not yet monetized I have over 7,000 watch hours from the lifetime of my channel but only about 2,500 that are actually usable towards getting monetized so if you can binge watch any of my content and just hit the like comment share and subscribe for anybody that's gluten-free dairy-free enjoys baking cooking and all that jazz I would be greatly appreciated so until next time everyone thanks for tuning in well, see you soon. Bye-bye.